go, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. I was trying to avoid having problems with these other guys on these other channels, you know, because I'm, I'm still new in the game. i only been making videos since May of this year, so, you know, a little over two months. But um, I guess it was bound to happen. Boxing Ego, I don't know what the fuck his problem is, but, I mean, he running around blocking everybody. He blocking all of his viewers. I mean, he think, and I just watched a video that he made. I don't know. He made it a few days ago, but um, he was talking about don't bite the hand that feeds you and shit. Talking about like if you want to be a part of this boxing community, then um, don't insult me and shit like that. Like this ain't no fucking boxing community. You think you can play that shit with all of these other motherfuckers across the Internet. But motherfucker, we both live in California. I live in L.A. And I know you're going to be at some of these big fights and I'm going to be there. You're going to eventually see me. It's not no boxing community. This is real life. I didn't spend a lot of time listening to this motherfucker's videos. And um, I gave him props on Twitter. I didn't want to say no, no shit about this Twitter shit because I didn't even really care about it. I had told him that he was the best and that 78 was my favorite, right? The re okay, look at this. The reason that I say Travis got it here and I'm back with some more boxing, that is a blend between my two favorite channels on YouTube. I never really expected to have a big following. 78 Sports TV always start his video saying, 78 Sports TV here. And Box Nego always say, I'm back with some more boxing. So I put the two together. You know, I started to change it and shit, you know, just to be a little bit more original. But I kept it because it means something to me. And then with that said, I said that um, Box Nego was the best and 78 was my favorite on Twitter, right? The next day, I kind of cracked the joke about him and his fake sources that he be talking about. And I didn't even tag him in a tweet. Somebody else tagged him in that tweet. And then he blocked me on Twitter. I didn't think nothing about it. I'm like, fuck it. You know, because a lot of people was tagging him in my tweets and shit. Yeah, of course, I'm an up and comer. Just like Earl Spence calling out the top guys. I mean, that's kind of normal. I'm supposed to do that shit to kind of make a name for myself. Just like Earl Spence is calling out those top guys, he might not get those top guys, but he's still making a name for himself. And then a guy tagged him in a tweet, and then Ego blocked me on Twitter, and he blocked me on YouTube too. But I didn't even know about him blocking me on YouTube until last night. Like I told y'all, I got a few different accounts, and um, I got on another one of my accounts after I commented on his channel, on one of his, um, one of his videos, and the motherfucker blocked me. And I didn't even really say shit to him. You know, all I was doing was joking about his fake sources that he be talking about. And then a lot of times he'd be wrong about shit. I mean, it ain't no fucking no harm, no foul there. But, you know, it's all good, though. I mean, you're going to eventually see me and I'm going to walk up to you and we and I'm we just going to have a conversation and we're going to see where it go from there. I mean, I'm not going to threaten you and no shit like that, but um. Man, Ego was soft, man. You could tell in his videos. You can hear it in his voice, man. That nigga's soft. He don't got no personality in them fucking videos. His videos bout put me to sleep every fucking time I watch his videos. You know, I start feeling sleepy. I mean, it's always the same Ego. There is no fucking change in his videos. Yeah, he might crack a joke at the beginning. And yeah, good thing he got those little parodies, them impersonations at the end of his video sometime to kind of make up for his boring personality. But man, that nigga's lame as fuck. And if I see you in L.A. at one of these fights, I'm going to definitely have something to say about it. I done spent a lot of my time listening to your fucking videos. I already done told you that I think that you the, the best, most complete source for boxing information. I mean, you blocked me. And then it's not even just me. It's somebody else told me that they commented on his video saying that they should come and watch my videos because they better. And then he blocked them. And then uh, a friend of mine, Sherry Abasi from b Real TV, he told me that he blocked him, too. So it's not just me. He blocking everybody. People that support you. You living off of YouTube. I mean, I'm not living off of YouTube. This is what you do for a living. I mean, you blocking people. You talking about don't bite the hand that feeds you. Motherfucker, we the ones that feeding you. You biting the hand that feeds you. What the fuck is you talking about? Us biting the hand that feeds you. We are supporting you. You the reason that you can fucking pay your bills. But like I said, I see you at LA, in LA at one of these fights. I'm going to confront you. I'm going to walk up to you. I'm going to be like, what's up? I mean, 
You thinking? I mean, he didn't even he didn't even bother to say shit. He just blocked me. Blocked me. Just keep blocking me. You know what I'm saying? Block me on Twitter. Block me on YouTube. I commented on his video with one of my other accounts, and he probably blocked that one too. All I got to do is just check it. I got three accounts, but you know, I'm like, what's up, bro? I mean, you got a problem with me or something? Because I never said nothing to you for you to be acting like that. I mean, the nigga is gay as hell, man. It's like I said, I can see right through you, nigga. That's why I like 78 Sports TV because he got a little bit of personality in this, and you know, you can hear it in his voice. He sound like a real person. Ego is fake as hell, man. I bet you that nigga gonna be scared than a motherfucker I walk up to him. I bet he will. And I'm gonna do it. And I just might, <laughs> I just might knock his ass out because I know what I have to gain if I knock his ass out right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go viral. Everybody going to want to talk to me. Everybody, I'm telling you, I'm going to blow up real quick. You think that I got a lot of subscribers real quick. Watch how quick I get some subscribers. If I knock Ego out, record that shit, put it on World Star, Nigga, I'm going to be famous. Give me a reason, nigga. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you. Gotta quit fucking with you.